Today on Brendan's Fabulous World of Fishing, we go popping some floats for some spring crappie. and welcome back to another episode of Brendan's Fabulous World of Fishing. I am sitting on a rock by a body of water and we're gonna be catching some spring crappie by popping floats. It's a really cool technique. I'll show you how to do it. Let's do it. Before we start the episode, I wanna give a shout out to a fellow YouTuber who lives in Ohio. His name is Jeff Fisher and he has a channel called Treasure Facts. Really cool channel. He does metal detecting videos. He finds all kinds of awesome artifacts. Let's go check it out. I will link it right there. And if you like his videos, give him a subscription. Nice, 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 nice. Another awesome crappie. On the float rig. Sweet deal, look at that guy. Whoa, don't go back on the shore. Get out of here. You know, the great thing about popping a cork for crappie is that it keeps your bait in the strike zone. What I mean by that is, if you have a jig and you're jigging off the bottom and the fish is suspended, you're gonna bring the jig up through the fish and then it's gonna come back down. So it's gonna be really short. For a short period of time, it's gonna be in the strike zone and chances are you won't catch as many fish. With a cork, it keeps your bait set at a certain level and keeps it right there the whole time. Basically, it keeps it in front of the fish. And right now the crappies are suspended. I came through here earlier with just a jig a normal jig, didn't catch anything. Switched over to the float, set up, set my depth about, about a foot, and it's working. Nice one. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Another beautiful crappie. Just ate that jig. Look at him. Sweetness. Another beautiful crappie right there. Zoom my camera out. Ba da 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 da. Oh, doink. The doink can. It's there a lot of times really subtle. Sometimes we'll take it all the way under the water. Sometimes a bob will just go doink, doink. When that happens, you know you got one. The area I'm fishing right now is a causeway, and I've fished here a number of times. I've done a number of videos here. The fish congregate around here during the spring, and right now we got a lot of muddy water coming through the causeway because we got a road on this side, and on the left side of the road, the water looks like chocolate milk. And it seems like, from my experience, crappie like to be in the clearest water right now, so they're on this side. Popping floats. There's a good one. Oh, he hit it too. It. All right, another nice fish. Pop in. The float for the crappie. Yay! Sweet deal. Sweet deal. As far as rigs go, I am using a simple peg bobber. As far as line goes, I'm using eight pound test. For a hook, I'm using a simple jig head, and for bait, I am using a Berkeley Gold minnow in smelt color. 
Oh, hooked up, good fish. Oh my goodness, dude, big one, big one. Oh yes, that was the one I'm looking for. Just hoping we get something big, said a little prayer, and before you know it, bang, got a fish. That's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, nice fish, nice fish. So there you go guys, that about wraps up the video. Hope you enjoyed it, had a lot of fun making it as always. I recommend you try this corking technique next time you're out in the water. I think you'll do good with it. All right, what else is there to cover? Ah oh, yes, if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel because more content is on its way. And if you have a question, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer it. As always guys, this is Brendan Miller, signing out.